High oil pressure can indicate a problem with the engine. It is important for the oil pressure to be at the correct level for proper lubrication. High oil pressure can signal a serious issue with the oil pads in the engine. The oil pressure transmitting unit is responsible for sensing the oil pressure and operating the dashboard gauge. It is normal for oil pressure to be higher when the engine is cold, but if it remains high even after warming up, it could indicate a problem with the gauge. What are the symptoms of high oil pressure? Oil leaks. Everything in your car was built by the manufacturer to function at a particular pressure and temperature. As a result, excessive oil pressure can blow out seals and other components, causing leaks and damage when it occurs. High oil pressure reading. A gauge is the most typical tool you'll use to detect high oil pressure in your car. Although not all automobiles have one, the majority do. You know you have a problem when this gauge starts to rise excessively and become red. Engine overheating. There's a good probability that your car's engine isn't getting adequate oil flow if it has excessive oil pressure. An engine that is overheating is one of the first signs of this. Your engine will become hotter as you drive for a longer period of time with high oil pressure. Low speed. When you floor it your car doesn't move or if your speed steadily decreases, the friction in your engine is to blame. Lack of lubrication, a telltale indicator of excessive oil pressure, is the cause of this friction. What are the causes of high oil pressure? Contaminated oil filter. A dirty oil filter is often the cause of high oil pressure, as it can become clogged with dust and particles over time. Typically, oil filters need to be changed every 3,000 miles to prevent this buildup. You can solve this issue by replacing the oil filter in your car, which can be done by emptying the old oil and replacing the filter yourself or having it done at an auto shop for a cost of around $35 to $75. Blocked oil passages. Clean your car's oil channels by removing the oil pan, scrubbing and scraping away the accumulated sludge and carbon deposits with a brush, and then reinstalling it after rinsing the residual impurities with around 4 US quarts L, of oil or warm water. Mismatched oil grade and viscosity. Motor oil comes in various thickness levels. Thinner oils work well in cooler conditions and are easier for the car to circulate. Thicker oil and greater pressure are needed for proper operation in warm weather. There are also different qualities such as synthetic, mineral, and mixed oils. Using unsuitable oil for your engine can lead to pressure buildup and engine overheating. Faulty relief valve. Relief valves provide a safe outlet for excessive pressure in the engine, preventing damage. In cars, these valves usually work automatically when oil pressure becomes too high. But if the relief valve is faulty due to issues like a damaged spring, stopper, nozzle, or incorrect adjustment, it can cause the oil pressure in the vehicle to keep rising. Faulty Sending Unit Your car's transmitting unit controls the oil gauge on the dashboard. If the sending unit is damaged by excessive voltage, collision, a blown fuse, or false grounds, it may give incorrect readings. It's important to have the gauge fixed by a professional mechanic, as malfunctioning transmitting units are hazardous. Mechanics may replace it for free under warranty. Damaged oil pump. Oil pumps are responsible for lubricating and cooling engines. If the oil pump is old and the bearings are worn, it can lead to high oil pressure and overheating. To address this issue, use a pressure gauge to inspect the oil pump and ensure it is genuinely broken before attempting to repair it. Remove the oil pump from the oil pan and attach a pressure gauge to compare the reading to the manufacturer's recommendations. If the pressure is too low or high, order a replacement from an auto shop. Can high oil pressure damage an engine? Absolutely. Your engine will be harmed by high oil pressure, it is only a question of time. Damage will happen more quickly the higher the oil pressure. This is why it's crucial to identify the cause of an engine with high oil pressure as soon as possible and fix it. If not, you can require an entirely new engine and wind up with more expensive repairs. Does the type of engine oil used affect oil pressure? The type of engine oil used can affect oil pressure, which is why automakers recommend using a specific kind of oil. Excessive viscosity can make it hard for the oil to flow through the engine, leading to increased oil pressure. Over time, the engine oil will thicken. Over time, the oil pressure may increase after an oil change, causing the vehicle to operate beyond its typical parameters. Using oil with inadequate viscosity can lead to engine overheating and inadequate component protection. Always use the oil type recommended by the car manufacturer when changing the oil in your car. How do you maintain an oil pressure? Change your car's oil regularly. 
Inspect your car's oil every six months to prevent oil pressure problems. Use a car jack to lift the car and drain the oil with an oil pan. If you feel confident working on cars, you can replace the oil yourself. Remove the old oil filter and install a new, oiled one after draining the oil. Fill the new filter with the correct oil for your car and you're ready to hit the road again. Make a habit of taking your car to a mechanic. Every 12 months, take your car to a reputable repair shop for routine diagnostics, maintenance, and potential replacement of crucial components like the oil pump or relief valve. This is especially important if you don't know much about cars. Regular maintenance can prevent worsening conditions or dangerous situations by alerting you to any problems. That's all for today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.